Hello, kittens, lovely kittens. Oh. This is an official chateau update brought to you live from the chateau. Uh, today I wanted to talk about the levels, the new leveling system that we have in place and the precious levels. I'm going to do a brief overview, especially some of the new kittens, what the levels are in the first place, how they work, how they used to work back in the day and how they're going to work in the future because we have as a team made some pretty huge changes um, in the last few weeks. So buckle in your belts and we're going to discuss levels. So there are three different choices, three different paths that you can take with the leveling system at the Chateau. The first one is you do not have to participate in it at all. That is absolutely a choice and option. Um, it is it is absolutely up to the individual kitten if they wish to um, enjoy or be a part of that or not. The second is the semi-precious. Semi-precious are the silver collars that you'll see and they're always silver. Um, and this starts with the level of pearl, which every model is granted through when they get through the difficult process of the application in the first place. They are awarded and granted the level of pearl immediately upon being accepted. Um, the second choice is the precious leveling system, which are always gold collars. So the difference between the two, the semi-precious and the precious, is you'll notice with gems in real life, you've got pearl, lapis lazuli, citrine, and then you have things like diamonds and rubies and sapphires. So what is the difference between the semi-precious and the precious levels? Well, one, the semi-precious, anyone who is a model, pearl level or above, can participate in the system. It is based on the points, and these points are allocated through the website. So every time you upload a photo shoot, or have a new set published, or post in a scratching post, or post an article, you are awarded points and those points count towards your level. So the more points you get, the higher your level goes. So, you know, if you've, if you've published your first set, right, you're going to go from pearl to opal. And it used to be, we actually had a different system in the past, which some of you watching may remember, and I'll explain about that next, so hang on. So in the past, it used to be that there were much less levels and the way you were awarded them was entirely different. So some of you watching may actually remember this, like um, Claudia or Lily, who were people there back in the day. It used to be not point-based like it is now. It was based on spe achieving specific goals. So having a photo shoot published in the magazine was the first one. But then, you know, owning a pearl level collar was required in order to even get to Opal, right? Or attending an event was then required to get to the next level. And then like up to Diamond, Diamond kittens had to live physically in the Chateau house. But we realized that system was not only unfair, it wasn't working overall. So when we moved to the WordPress website, the new website, we made it point-based and that way it was fair to everyone. So let's say your strong suit wasn't doing sets and instead you enjoyed publishing articles, that still counted towards the point system. Likewise, with the precious level, in the past, it was never really truly defined until actually a matter of a few weeks ago, we actually sat down with the entire team at the Shadow and said, look, you know, it, this is getting ridiculous. We kind of don't have a decent way, you know, beyond talking to models. And I certainly talked to a couple of models as some of you may know and say, hey, look, I believe you're eligible for this level because it usually happens right around Citrine where you've produced enough photos and content that in theory it's good enough for the allocation of the Amethyst level. In reality, what we want to do in our new update is make sure that this level represents the brand. Kind of like Victoria's Secret, although it's a bad example, has their dream angels who kind of represent the brand as figureheads. We wanted something similar in the shadow of the magazine when we had girls who represented the brand. However, unlike things like Victoria's Secret, we wanted models who had kindness and had humble qualities and other things that would be good. So after a lot of discussion with the team at the magazine, we've decided the models who will be awarded the precious level models are the models that represent the brand with elegance and grace, kindness and compassion to other models. That means that it can't be models who are catty to one another, you know, or rude or bullying other models. It can't be models who are sharing screenshots from conversations. These are girls who have to represent what we're looking for in terms of 
female empowerment and bringing each other up as women. So it's not just going to be based about your photo sets, it's also based on how you treat other people, which I think overall is a really good thing. So whatever changes are there with this precious level system, it will now involve a contract. We're getting way more professional. As some of you know, we do have a documentary coming out actually this month. So we're super excited about it. It's expected to have up to 12 million views on it, which means we'll have a lot more applicants, a lot more interest. And as such, we need to start taking the company a lot more seriously and taking you guys a lot more seriously as well. So there'll be contracts. The contracts are there not just to protect us, but also to protect you as models. Contracts include things like exclusivity. If you want to be a precious model, you cannot be modeling for competing websites, which also use cat ears or pet play or kitten play. Some people don't want that, which is completely fine, which is why the semi-precious leveling system exists. You never have to make any commitments with this. There's no contracts. You're not required to be exclusive to the brand. The contract will be transparency. I strongly and a firm believer in transparency. It will be available online public for anyone to read and to look over and see if it's something they're even interested in in the first place. It also increases things in terms of professionalism like pay. Once you reach Emerald level, sets are now paid for the $100 per set to the model. So we're taking things a little bit more seriously and starting to put the business in the right direction of growth, which benefits everyone, including the kittens, the models and us ultimately. Likewise, this video is originally just going to make for the kittens in the private penthouse group, which for those of you watching don't know is a group you get put into once you actually are you know, accepted into the chateau and it's a private safe space for girls to meet other models and talk and see the monthly photo set themes. When so I I'm going to make this uh, public because I think it's good knowledge for girls who are looking to apply as well to understand it better before they send in application mm -hmm. because knowledge is key. So how will this work, this precious level of things, new thing in place for Amethyst and above? We will either personally message you and ask you and then say, hey, look, here's this contract. Are you interested in doing this? If you yourself have reached Citrine and you're like, hey, I really think I'm a good representation for this brand, mm -hmm. there will be a se second application that you can fill out, similar to when you first applied to the Chateau. You know, why you want to have this role, why you think you're a good brand ambassador, because it's no longer just that you're a model anymore. You're also basically representing a PR for the company. And these are girls that are going to be featured more heavily. These are girls that have been published on covers. These are girls that are going to go to events, you know, and actually physically participate in things. So it's very important that we have girls who are the right fit for the model. So going back to semi-precious levels, you've noticed there'll be some new changes there as well. Citrine is no longer the highest ranking semi-precious level we have added a bunch of new levels in that you can achieve without having to sign the contract or be in the precious level system these include gems like tanzanite or garnet or peridot and i believe peridot is actually the top ranking level in that system at this time so going back to the precious levels we talk about how does the process work let's say there's a model who's applied it won't just be me making that decision i'm actually going to put it to the team out of fairness and individually, based on how that person has treated everyone in that team, we together will make that choice if it's the right fit or not. You know, how, how the kitten has behaved, if they've been to physical events or not, will help in the decision. You know, how many photo shoots are produced, the quality of the photo shoot, how they treat other models. You know, are they enthusiastic and kind? And like we talked about, even the compassion, I think, is super important. So all of those things will be taken into consideration with each person who is eligible for Amethyst. And we will look at it and together make a decision. And then based from there, we'll award out who gets to participate in the Precious Level system. So hopefully this video has helped you understand a bit more about the levels and the new updates. Thank you for listening.